We're going into day two of our last workshop of the season. I and both love and hate. I know, but we're going to pick dates for our spring groups in the next yeah. week or so. So we're going to do it. We'll commit that. But I thought... With everything that's going on, it's a pretty fucking amazing time to be a woman. It feels like it's all happening. I think it's coming to a head. The whole Me Too, and then they're running out all these, like, rapists out yeah. of, you know, Rockefeller Center, <laughs> Hollywood. And I always thought it would start with the Hollywood women, because they had power and celebrity. They could do it. Why don't they get more? They did. They just did. They, they booted Harvey Weinstein. And then the hashtag Me Too, which was started by Toronto Burke, a woman of color, for people of color to say, look, this happened to me. That And now women have kind of stepped on that. And it's uniting everyone, that sense of community, that you're not the only one. Because as women, I think we internalize and blame ourselves. Yes. Well, I'm not going to say Me Too. Well, here's what I thought would be interesting. If we want to end violence, sexual violence against women, one part of it is, yes, watching predators, criminalizing the activities, get the fuck out, <laughs> you can't women harass them. Women have to stop being victims. Well, then the other side of it is, hashtag we consented. Hashtag we consent. Not a D. Well, that's what they're doing. We consented. So I think the thing is women have to have sexual freedom. I want it. Yes, I do that. So did you. Yeah. I mean, I had a lot of fun having sex with guys. Having sex for fun. Is there such a thing in our culture? Let's get rid of the slut stigma, the virginity myth, and like, Please. yeah, I fucked them because it was fun. Yep. Because I was bored. <laughs> well, I, you know, we had dinner and we had fun and so we had sex. Why not? <laughs> Uh, I don't like that victim mentality of... Well, because oh. it's the only role that we're given. So if we want equality, the flip side of it is women have to have sexual equality, sexual agency, sexual freedom to make pleasure their priority. I know in one way when I grab a guy's crotch, it's like I'm getting even. <laughs> For all the grabbing. <laughs> For all the... Years I had to put up with guys, you know, making passes. And as an old lady, I can get by with it because they're not going to hit me. No, they can't. When you have white hair, you can't punch someone in the face if they have white hair. When they have white hair, you have a certain amount of, what, safety. <laughs> opportunity. <laughs> and opportunity. So it's, they, and they, they're very uncomfortable and they squirm and they don't like it and it's just awful. But... We put up with that for a long time. Well, I think that we felt we had to, and that's why we're always trying to separate women and isolate them and make them compete. Because when women have sisterhood, and that's what we saw with the Me Too campaign, everyone was chiming in, I'm not alone. All of a sudden, things turned. 16,000 women registered to run for office. That's the key. And so we're moving into politics New Zealand has a fem a single female prime minister, 41 years old. Ah, hallelujah. Iceland, same thing, young female prime minister. Uh -huh. And you That's see that right. women are moving into politics and we're taking over and we're taking control. And I like to think that our piece of it is teaching women how to stimulate themselves and enjoy sex and accept pleasure in their lives. And if they want to have sex with some guy, they can initiate it. Or, if or a woman, they can initiate it. And and if he initiates it, she can say yes or no and not make it into a big medulla. Because she knows how. <coughs> and she feels confident. I had this one friend tell me, because when I was this 20-something cute little yummy from Kansas, you know, God, I was so square. And I had to go to the garment center to draw a dress or something for advertising. And I'd walk into the showroom, and they knew then that I was the artist that they were. Mm -hmm. and, oh, they all just look you up and down, and you know, and with, with this whole appraisal kind of thing. And she said, "Just stare at their crotch, Betty. Makes them very nervous." And I went, "Oh, so I remember the first time I tried it. So I just stood there and looked at his crotch, stared <laughs> at it, and he fidgeted, 
and he's... No one likes to be objectified. It makes you nervous because you don't know what someone's thinking. Well, no, you think maybe you're something showing. Yeah, something's going on. <laughs> maybe you pissed yourself a little, you know? <laughs> so they turned to the side and they would, you know, check their fly and all. But it, the point was at that moment I was on top. Taking our power, and I think that's what we're doing. Yeah. Womankind is taking their power. And so sexual freedom, birth control, easy to get, cheap, no judgment. <laughs> you know what I mean? Simple. Yeah. If you need to terminate a pregnancy, you get a pill by the mail. Done. Like, can we just get over all of it? I'm ready. And just have fun. And I think everyone will be happier. Yeah. No more victims. No more predators. Just people that like to have sex. Or they don't like to have sex. We have the, the ability to say yes and no. And it's not a big deal. It really isn't such a big deal. Now everyone's going to say, ah, it's a big deal. But a woman has the right to say yes. We have to include that. With the right to say no. And the right to say no. Just speak your mind. <laughs>